Hello, fellow diggers. Yep, Penny Digger back at you again. I'm going to try and get this angle right. <laughs> I was looking at some of the videos, and you could see from here down. You can see my beard, my nose, and my mouth, and that was it. So, I hope I'm holding it far enough away where you can see more than that. Uh, I just wanted to put a, a quick little video together and tell everybody that uh, when I put the, the update on my leg situation and, and that they think it might be an infection in my heel, guys, don't worry about me. I'm a tough old coot. Hmm? I might be an old coot, but I'm a tough one. So, uh, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to make it through this. And like I said, I, you know, 10 years ago, uh, I'd have been scared about the prospect of maybe losing a leg or a foot or something like that. But they have gotten so damn good with prosthetics now. And I just hate that so many of our young people had to pay the price for them getting that good. But uh, they have. They've gotten really seriously good at it. So... I don't think I'm going to lose anything this round anyway, but it really don't scare me like it would have, like I said, several years ago. So, don't worry about me, I'm going to be alright. And the fact that I've got so many of you guys pulling for me and got y'all all in my corner, that right there gives me the incentive to get better. Because I've got some good people pulling for me. Um, <laughs> John and Jackie, Bill and Bob. I can go on and on. 49er digging. Uh, you warned me about the, the eat with this stuff. Yeah, my pharmacist warned me about that too. He said you better eat something before and after. Uh, well, before you take the, the uh, augmenting or whatever it is. He said eat because it'll mess your stomach up. I said, well, I take Nexium uh, every day anyway for my arthritis pills because they mess with your stomach. So, But I learned something here a while back. They had me on Cipro and a couple other antibiotics when I went in with my left heel. And... It messed my insides up. I mean, I had Montezuma's revenge from hell. And don't nobody get smart and say no shit, because there was plenty of that. Uh, huh. But I mentioned it to the doctor there at Wound Care, and he said, yeah. He said, you're on a lot of antibiotics. Antibiotics have a tendency to kill the good bacteria and the bad bacteria, so the bacteria that's normally in your intestinal tract to help you digest food and etc cetera, etc cetera. he said it's been been killed off by the antibiotics he said I want you to start eating at least two things of yogurt a day so I know that trick I know to go ahead and get me some yogurt and just play it safe but uh it didn't dawn on me that it would be killing the good bacteria too until he mentioned that. But yeah, I'm gonna be all right. I don't think we. I don't think any of this stuff has gotten me to the point where, where I've got anything to worry about just yet. I mean, diabetes ain't nothing to play with, and it'll mess you up. But. I don't think it's anything serious because when they did all my blood work at the doctor this last time, everything came out perfect except for my good cholesterol. And I asked them, you know, what can I do to get my good cholesterol up? And they said, the only thing you can do to get it up is exercise. I said, no. Well, I'm already working on that. I'm metal detecting. And uh, I can't walk far. But I can get out there and walk 15, 20 feet and then kneel down at a hole and dig what's up and dig what's in the ground up and 
in a purse at the pull tab or <laughs> or the bottle cap or whatever I just dug up and uh, stand back up and all the squatting up and down up and down and a little bit of walking you know I can do it two or three hours and once in a blue moon I'll get out there and go for four or five hours at a pop I know there's a lot of you that get out there for that that's a that's a small hunt when you go four or five hours but I think my warranty expired when I hit 42 because you know how it is you buy a car or you buy a TV and as soon as that warranty runs out everything goes to hell that's what happened to me everything went to hell and I think my warranty expired but this thing ain't got me whooped yet so thanks everybody for your well wishes I definitely do appreciate it you'll never know uh, how much incentive that can give you to get better knowing that you've got a bunch of friends out there pulling for you so thank you for all your well wishes thank you for your good good kind words and I'm gonna be all right and ain't, ain't nobody seen the last of Penny Digger yet. Take care, guys. This is your Penny Digger. And...